guys, I'm on a super tight time crunch, so we are gonna do a really quick tutorial for face masks because I need to make my boyfriend one. I've got a little insane since I met you that day. You're gonna wanna grab your template, which looks like a depend or a pad. A very, very large pad for, you know, those really heavy months. This is how long it is, approximately, and that's the length of the top, and the length of the middle. Okay. Oh, it is hot in here. So, as I said, you have your pad. You will need to trace your pad onto some fabric. I just cut out a square of um, this green stuff, and you're going to need two of those. So I'm going to pin my pad onto my piece of fabric. Make sure that it's straight if you have time. And um, this, the, 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 this, this thing right here, it's a little, uh, okay. This, what I made here, hi. So what you're gonna do is cut about half an inch out. Now onto this piece. Oh, why is this so, why is this fabric so hard to cut? <sighs> Nick, you better appreciate this. This was really, 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 really hard to cut. I don't know if you guys can hear the kids screaming outside because it's thundering, but uh, yeah, that's a thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you just not? So, now that you've got- oh god. Now that you've got- you still can't see me. Oh, I'm so- You're going to take them and uh, face them right sides together, if you have right sides. Um, I do not have right sides, I just have ugly sides all around. Pin them, try not to poke yourself in the process, and we are going to sew along this line and this line. You're going to want to sew about a half inch in so that it lines up with the stitch of our uh, other tampon thing over here. Oh, it's the worst time for hair to fuzz. I, there's fuzz stuck to the top of my mouth. I swear, it's just, these things only happen when I'm in a rush. Make sure to go backwards. Not like that. Oh, holy. It is raining crazy out there. Okay, hello again. Welcome to my channel. It should look something like this. Well, not like this if you didn't use polyester because polyester is not great to breathe out of, but Nick really wanted to have the green blue thing going on here. So this is going to end up looking like this, not like one color or the other. Um, I like to cut off the excess. We have that, it's looking good. Now we need to do the other side. We have our two sides sewed together. Oh, come on. Okay, we've evened that up a little bit. It's a looking a little better. Uh, so now we're going to fold this in half and you're going to want to take the, uh, Ah, yuck. The fuzz is real. It's everywhere. Look at this. You want to get it like this. And you're going to pin the tops together. So we're going to sew all along the bottom. Oh, stupid. Oh, I hate 
this fabric. Oh my god, this isn't even... Uh, I hate this fabric, I hate this fabric so much, I hate this fabric. Okay, we have one side completely stitched up and we're gonna do the other side and make sure to leave an opening on one side so that you can flip it inside out, okay? machine now that we've got this we are going to flip it inside out oh god did i not leave the hole big enough well you're gonna want a hole about this big or a little bigger uh if you have a ironing board i recommend that you iron this down because right now as you can see it's very billowy and ugh. <laughs> I swallowed it. The next thing is to sew this part up, so you're going to stick it inside out. You want to get it as close to the edge as possible because that's where your... that's where it's folded over. What is this? What happened here? Why do you do this to me? Okay, it's looking good, it's looking pretty neat. So that's gonna be the bottom part. And now we are going to sew in some elastic bands. So to make them longer, we're going to cut them. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something cool for Nick and I'm gonna make it that and that. So you're going to want to flip this over about half an inch and then we are going to stick these in the sides and sew a line. And keep in mind, whatever thread is in your bobbin is uh, the thread that's going to show up on the bottom. Now, if you have a wider face, you're going to put as little into here as possible and just sew quite close to the edge, I guess. Um, wherever you end up sewing, it's going to hold that in pretty well. As you can see, I'm not even holding that part, and, uh, it's a pretty sturdy boy. There we go. Okay, well, uh, wish me luck, guys. I have pinned this down, and I'm now going to attempt to, uh, do a thing. It would actually be so much easier if I hand sewed this. Nope, I don't got time for that. Mmm, it didn't work. Mmm, it didn't line up. Did not line up, it did not line up, it's okay, it's okay. I don't know what this is. It's not, it's not coming apart. It, 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 it's fine, but what is this? Should I cut it? This is the right way to go. I just want to get this over with. So we are going to sew with the uh, white on the inside and hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Hopefully I don't have any problems after this and hopefully this is the last I see of this fabric. It actually looks really good. I am pretty happy with how this is looking. My only concern is now getting this in here because uh, I kind of sewed it up by accident. Oh my god. Get in there, you little stump. Okay, here we go. Mm, I did it on the wrong side. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. You can barely tell. There you have it. Your mask. And you know, I did make this a little big, just in case. So when I see Nick, I can measure his face, pinch it in, 
and do some darts. And that is how you will make a perfectly fitted mask. The darts specifically um, you will do by pinching the amount that you need to take in and making a diagonal line from this pinched line to however far in you need the diagonal to be in order for it to shape your face perfectly. I know that my mask came out really nice. Here, let me get it. My mask came out really nice because I made these darts here, so it actually fits me perfectly. If anything, I could make another dart right here in the chin. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this tutorial, and I hope it was helpful to some of you. This is actually the easiest pattern that my mom and I have found because my mom has been looking for different patterns to make masks, and we have tried a few and they have not turned out right, and we have not been able to use them. So up until now, we have just been using the typical masks that you buy um, in like any grocery store, I guess. But these are very nice because you can do whatever you want with them, paint them. They look absolutely beautiful when they are ironed out, and I highly recommend this one. For more tutorials, check out my uh, playlist right here or you know it's probably right here I don't know I'm so directionally challenged and that is it for today if you're new to the channel please make sure to click that subscribe button down below and I will see you next Saturday I gotta get out of here